What's up everybody? I'm Tanner from Timber Ridge Gifts. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner. There's going to be a lot of money spent on some gorgeous flowers. So because they are so expensive and pretty, we want to keep them around and enjoy them for as long as we can. And one of the best and actually easiest ways to do that is just simply coat them in wax. Because as they sit right now, they're going to last a week, maybe two if we're lucky. But we can coat them in wax, had them last up to five or six weeks. And a little trick I learned from a florist friend of mine, about five days prior to doing this, if we take uh, two parts warm water, one part vegetable glycerin, let the flowers feed on that. Don't ask me why that works, but somehow that'll coat and lubricate the inside workings of the flower. It'll make them brighter, that much healthier. And that, in addition to coating them in wax, can make them last up to six or seven months. So we've done just that for the past five days. These have been soaking in a water and vegetable glycerin mixture. So now we're ready to get them out and coat them in wax so I can enjoy them for the next several months. To do that, we're just going to need a few supplies. We're going to need uh, some type of drying rack. If you don't have a drying rack, a, a glass bottle will work just as well. We need our flowers, obviously, and we're going to need our wax. Uh, this is a candle making channel, so a lot of my subscribers are going to have a large selection of candle waxes. But if you don't have a lot of candle wax at your disposal, you can use pretty much any type of candle wax. Whether it's old white candles you have laying around that you want to recycle, uh, golf wax from your local grocery store will work just fine. Or the quickest and easiest way is to just pick up some uh, emergency candles from the dollar store. Any type of wax will work from soy wax to paraffin. There are a few advantages and disadvantages of that. Uh, paraffin wax is going to give it a little bit more of a shine, but the drawback is you're basically coating the flower in a thin sheet of plastic. If you were to bump it or to touch it, you could break that thin layer of plastic, and that break is going to show in your flower. The advantage to the soy wax is, of course, you're not going to have that issue of it breaking. It's going to be a lot more flexible. But the soy wax is a little bit tackier, so it's going to be oily when you touch it, and it's going to be more prone to collect dust. So you can use any type of wax you want. Uh, for this wax, I'm using IGI 6006. It's just a base paraffin wax. But regardless of what type of wax we're going to use, uh, the main issue is our temperature. We're going to keep this around 140. Any higher, it's going to scorch and burn the flower. And any less, it's going to clump together and not coat the flower evenly. For those of you that have never melted wax before, the easiest way is just on your stovetop in a double boiler. Just take an old saucepan, a type of metal pitcher, or you can actually use a container that you're going to be dipping in. Put about an inch of water, let that heat up to get up to temperature. And that's really all there is to it. We've got our wax to 140, now we're ready to dip our flowers. So we're just going to choose the flower we want. We're going to go and peel all the leaves and thorns off. If there's any bad petals that we don't want, we can go ahead and peel those off. Give the flower the exact look we want. Now we're just going to dip it. Let's zoom in to check that out. We'll do one last inspection, make sure it looks the way we want it to look. We can't peel off any uh, dead or damaged petals. Now we're just going to dip it in the wax. We're going to leave it in here for just a second. What we're doing is we're letting all the air escape. And also we're letting the uh, temperature regulate just a little bit. When you first put it in, it's going to be a little bit cool to room temperature. So that wax is going to kind of flash freeze on it and it's going to turn white. So we're going to let it stay in there for just a minute, let that temperature regulate just a little bit, and that'll stop it from having that white look. And take it out, just spin it around just a little bit, get all that excess off, let it fill all the crevices. Now we're just going to set it in our drying rack to cool. Do the same thing with a couple more. <laughs> While they're cooling, if we're not absolutely in love with the way they look, we can't take either our fingernails or just some sort of long pointy object. And we can just gently spread the petals apart to give them that nice full look. Now this rose is just about done. If we needed to, we could double dip this again, make sure that top of it is fully coated. But I like the way this one looks, so now we've got to finish coating it. And to do that, we're just going to hold it by the bloom and we're going to dip the bottom half of that stem into the wax. We're going to let it dry for just a second. And there we go, that rose is completely coated in wax. There won't be any air getting to it. And it's going to last us a really long time. Before I zoom back out, I want to show you guys just a couple examples of what not to do. This is going to be an example of our wax being too hot. You can see how it's discolored the rose and curled the petals. 
This wax was probably around 160, 170. Definitely way too hot, definitely scorched the rose and ruined it. And at the opposite end, this rose was dipped while the wax was too cool. You can see how it uh, kind of clumped together there at the top of the bloom, didn't let it fill all the way in. Kind of made for just a big old clumpy mess on top. Didn't really do a good job of preserving the flower. So just to look at them all together, here's our two gross ugly ones that we poured at the wrong temperature. And there's the one that we poured at the right temperature, it came out perfectly. There you are folks, it's really that simple. There's really nothing more to it than to gather in your supplies, keeping your wax at 140 degrees, and dipping your flowers. Hope this helps you enjoy your flowers that much longer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're at all interested in candle making and you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Feel free to like and share this video. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.